perfect game. I'm gonna go to Moscow. Secure worldwide handheld rights. You're walking into a communist country. That still considers America enemy numero uno. If you go, we can't protect you. Okie dokie. The movie is an extraordinary story set in Soviet Russia in 1989 about different people from all over the world pursuing this incredibly hot property. My character, Hank, is a kind of larger-than-life cowboy figure who goes out on a limb to make his fortune and get the rights to Tetris. When I first found Tetris, I was a publisher of computer games in Japan. The people who were publishing it had no idea what they had. I got the console rights in Japan, and then Game Boy came out. Gentlemen, if you want to sell a couple hundred thousand Game Boys to little kids, back of them with Mario. But if you want to sell millions of Game Boys, package them with Tetris. I made a deal with the president of Nintendo USA. A month later, I was on a plane to Moscow to get the Game Boy rights. We're in a room full of eight business people. There are definitely some KGB guys in the room. You go home today, or you stay and face the consequences. Well, Alexei Pajitnov and I first met in that room. He was the original creator of Tetris. Hank was the first man Alexei can talk about computers to. Alexei, your game is brilliant. I'm gonna make you a millionaire. I do not have right to receive money from my game. Well, that, that's criminal. No, it is communism. Tetris is my main achievement in my life. That was the only Russian software coming out of Soviet Union that time. There's lots of corruption there and people after money, and there's this one man who's made this thing that everyone wants. We'll start by licensing computer games, then video games, arcade games, board games, everything. It's this mad dash to secure the rights to the game. Get me Tetris. Don't sacrifice everything for these. Get it! We were living in this two-bedroom apartment, supporting this crazy foreigner father. It was really a transformational time in our family's lives. Everything is gonna be fine. Because if it isn't, then we don't have handheld rights and we don't have console rights, and Nintendo will sue us for fraud, and we'll lose the business, and they'll probably take our house. And I am trying to keep it together, it can be really I am, but I do not have a backup plan. It's strange watching somebody else be me. It was fun to watch, because he does a good job. I was impressed at the script, and now the actors as well, they really captured what the real people were like. Personally, for my part, I always just feel if you seek to humanize somebody and make them relatable and three-dimensional, then you are doing them the right service. Sorry, hon. Papa's got to go and get ready for his business trip. But I can't wait to see your show. Tetris crosses boundaries. You know, it brings people of all cultures together. Hank and Alexei, they're incredibly different in terms of their family lives, but they love programming. Partners are what make us great. Not only is Tetris an amazing game, but it was only possible through this friendship between Hank and Alexei that it spread to the rest of the world. He's the author of Tetris. <laughs> Play Tetris. Play Tetris. My friends. When you take a photo, how do you make the photo have the same emotional impact as when you were actually there? I think the movie does that very well.